Well, okay, so I know I said, hey, I'm gonna figure out how to make kicks. You know, Hitmon Lee guaranteed. I didn't. I just kind of said, the fuck it, I don't want to grind off screen, because I it's a Pokemon game. I mean, there's not a whole lot else you're coming here for. This is the Pokemon gameplay. This is like part of the big chunk of the gameplay. What would I be doing if I missed out on the good the shit? The hey. So, instead of that, I've just went out to check here, maybe Mr. Tyrogue. Haven't actually fought at all with him. I'm just like, I, I gotta get his attack above his defense. Based on those DVs, his attack's not actually too far off, so I was like, hey, maybe if I went out of my way and says, hey, we're somewhere new. And I bought myself this protein. Attack. Boom. Now, maybe I can sell some things and get enough money for another one of those, I don't know. That was sell for shit. That was sell for a decent amount. Um, oh yeah, we don't need that. that that's not important. Because I don't like using stuff in combat, so that's generally not too useful. Normally, there's... Yeah, PP restoring moves are usually really expensive to get, but... If you just sell the things, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need this. I just don't want to sell it, though, just in case, so... There's also a nugget. Now, yeah, that would've been... That would've been pretty alright. I have a potion, escape rope, super fell, dragon skin... Ooh. Doesn't this evolve something? I don't remember. Hmm. Oh, on that note, I was gonna say, you may notice, hey, it wasn't a Pokemon Crystal stream tomorrow, and the reason for that is, I got a haircut, and it was right at the same time as the stream. So, I don't know why it was scheduled like that, but it's how it is, so that's... That's what's going on here today! What is dragon scale? It probably evolves a dragon type, but that's irrelevant. So, I'm just gonna sell the thing. Bye, dragon scale! Okay, let's buy another protein, and then we'll get a little bit of cash as we go along, and then we'll get him another protein. I don't know if that's gonna actually matter, but you know what? I might as well do everything in my power to... Do it without also caring all that much, so... I know that affects IVs. Not EVs. Is that how that works? Can you form- No, you can form EVs, not IVs. Yes. Okay. So, did that actually change anything, though? No, no, don't go to fucking Selby, it's not what I want. Yes, it did! Haha, -ha, that is just like a straight, like, oh, hey, he gained one strength. Now he has an extra attack. Cool. <sighs> Time to go get this man to actually be relevant, because there's no XP share. You get that from the game corner. And I'm not doing the game corner. Alright. Slots or full torps twists. I think it's this one. Okay. I've never played this before. I'm nostalgic for this song. Where did I hear this? Oh, I remember. It's like a YouTube series way back in the day, but it didn't matter. That's why I'm nostalgic for the song, despite having never actually played this game. Yeah, alright, let's see how bad that what are we even doing? Uh, that one. Oh. What is this game? I don't... Oh, this is be like... This is roulette. This is the roulette equivalent. Okay. I'm not gonna do that, though. Get out of here. You know, when I named this episode Rolling the Dice, I was more so for the fact this man might become a Hitmon Lee or Hitmon Chan, maybe even Hitmon Top. There's Voltorb Flip! I thought this would tell me how the fuck to play the game. What? Me hitting select does that. Okay, me hitting start does that. What? Okay, you know what? Never mind. This was a bad idea. 
This was a bad idea. Let's go fight something. I don't care what it is. I need something to stop breathing. Yeah, the Jigglypuff works. I can kill that. That's definitely killable. It's also a manageable level. That's what's important. The mind Reader? What does that even do? I don't know. Oh, that's not right. We do high jump. Mock Punch? Rapid Spin? Yo! Rapid Spin would be good if this was anything else. If, uh, get him. And then miss, and then kill yourself with it. This dude actually came with some pretty solid movesets. Alright. Get him with a mock punch. Get him, kicks! God damn it, kicks. Stop it. Stop that right now. Good job, kicks. You did it. There's your priority fighting pri priority priority fighting type move, and that's cause well, lots of murder. Woo! Yeah, you did it. All right, fantastic. Whatever. Who even plays a Pokemon any day? Who even watches a Pokemon? Not me, that's for sure. I mean, what's going on on screen over here? Who even cares? It's a Pokemon. It's a kids' game. Who, who even is even, even here right now? I don't know. Definitely ain't me. Okay, I need to actually the fucking pen. I need to figure out what the fuck Mind Reader even does. Because I have no idea. Not a clue. Hmm. That one. That one. And then we go down to here. Ensure the next attack will hit. Garbage. Rapid spin. Move, moves and gets rid of, like, stealth rocks and stick webs and all that garbage. A.K.A. GARBAGE! So, Mock Punch is a priority fighting side move, and High Jump Kid does a shit ton of damage, but if you miss, you hurt yourself. And I mean, like, hurt, hurt yourself, so... You know. Just don't... Don't fuck up, and you'll be fine. Where? Oh, this is a different... Where am I? Leader Faulkner. Oh. Oh, it's the flying guy! Yeah, I remember now. I, I, I skipped this place for some reason. I don't know why I did that. I can go fight you. At least some of your mook trainers. It is like the first gym in the game, I think. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner! I'm not. I, I'm not. Because I'm not gonna right now. I'm here to train up kicks. Do that when I get back. Don't worry. We'll, we'll come back. Don't you worry, you pretty little- Oh, no! That's not happening. Well, now, apparently the whole team needs a little bit of XP, because if this is the very first trainer of a gym... And Celebi's not even full up on HP. <laughs> oh, that's reassuring. Why are you faster than me? Oh, it's a bird. What am I expecting? Why is this bird faster than me? Okay, well, I wonder what the answer could be. Who knows? an enigma to us all. Alright, oh, that's right. We still know strength. I have to fix that. Alright, give me a sec and I'll fix Hig after this fight. If I remember. I should remember because that's pretty important for him not to know this garbage. I'll, like, redo it if I really need strength, but I don't think so. So, just keep slapping this Fero and then we'll fix Hig. Okay. Oh, I don't... I got rid of fucking quick attack for strength. Thank you, HMs. Very satisfying. Hey, Kix just jumped up to 12. He didn't even touch 11. He just... 12. Bam. Please drop a lot of cash so that way I can buy another protein so my kicks can... My sick kicks can keep having attack higher than defense. Because it's definitely a shot in the dark whether this thing's become a Hitmonchan. It's actually leaning towards Hitmonchan rather than Hitmonlee. Luckily, which is not what we want, unfortunately, so. Okay, Kix. Come on now, don't die. Don't you die either, Hig. Don't die. Now kill him in one hit. 
You're a disappointment, Hig. Oh. Well, that one could have gone better. Maybe I should have sent in my Gyarados from the get-go, but you know what? We call those people naysayers, and I don't listen to them for a good reason. Go get them. hey -ya! Yeah. So this is most assuredly not a good place to be grinding kicks. As much as I'd like it to be, it's just not. Faulkner is now the biggest man in town because of the gym system, so... Oh, there's one more. Great. I guess Kix isn't getting this XP because he has 10 HP. Ah, whatever. I can handle a Noctowl solo. It's not like I need to actually send these dudes in, so... Eh. Oh, come on, Mr. Noctowl. Oh, that's not very nice. And I boosted his strength so it hits a lot harder. That's really not nice. Tigris? Hey, ah! <laughs> I got him. Yeah, you're done now, friendo. Oh, that's right. This keeps going. I thought this was like the low HP one, but no, that's that's thrash. That just does a lot of base damage, but you just keep doing it, and then it confuses you. That's right. This can't be true. <sighs> yes, it is, friend. Please. Accept your defeat gracefully. It's a dead end. That's hot. That's a Pokemon Center. That's also hot. Woo. So we gotta go all the way back to the Mooka Leader. Because, man, I keep changing the Pokemon OST to non Pokemon songs, and it's getting weird. Are you sure this is the this is the game I signed up for? Cause the Pokemon Center is weird, normal battles are weird. It's playing the wrong song, even for just normal stuff like all this other nonsense. This is weird. This is a weird time all throughout. Hello, friend. Please fix Hig. He is broken. Fix him. Get this out of me. Good. That's all I ask. Ooh, reminder. One of your Pokemon a move. Yes. Yes! Which move should it remember? Uh, yeah, quick attack. I mean, it's not the best move, but it's better than strength. It hits about the same and has priority. It just gives Hig that little bit of extra coverage. I mean, I'm probably just gonna get rid of the move, but I mean, I'm right there. Why would I not? So. Are we still dying? Or are we fine? No, we healed. Okay. So I need to train up Kick somehow, and I also need him to maintain his attack above defense thing. He leveled up twice. Okay, this seems to be going fine this far. So, let's hope it stays like that, huh? Because right now, it's definitely not looking too pretty. With this higher DBs and all that. I found you earlier generations for calling them the wrong thing. Isn't this a dark cave? Oh no, this is Ice Path. Oh, well, you don't care then. That's not what we're here for. Where am I going? I don't... I don't really know. I guess I'll just keep... Where, where should go? There we go. I'll keep going to Violet City, grind off some birds. I mean, whatever. And then I'll just train up Kicks that way, because as long as Kits becomes a Hitmon Lee, then I can just grind him up face value. But because he's level 10, I'm K12 in this case, he's not that easy to grind up, considering every gym is now just, Hey, do you like level 30s and 40s? No! No, I do not! I'd much prefer you to actually have, like, weak Pokemon that you're supposed to have, because this is the Violet City Gym. This is, like, the first gym you're supposed to fight in this game. At least even I remember that. All of a sudden, birdie boys are... birdie boys are real scary! Oh, no. Hey, you see all this? Not anymore, but... Oh, oh, oh. This is a bad time. Wish I could get him that XP share, but as we've seen, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing when it comes to, uh, that old, what the fuck's that called? Game Center Corner, yes! No idea how to play those games. There's one that's like, roulette, and I don't care. There's the slots, and definitely don't care. I wanted to try a Voltorb flip, but they don't tell you how to play that, because every time I hit buttons, nothing happens, so. Ugh. <sighs> A 
slap him with an ancient power. I should've just ancient powered twice, I would've lived. What can you do? I'm not exactly the smartest tool in the shed. I got a toxic, man, you know? It's, it's like an addiction at this point. I have a problem. I need to be a toxic human being. I have problems. Good job, Hick. You, you did it. Whoa. And that attack is still maintaining in the numero uno spot, which is very nice. Oh, Pidgeot! Man, that looks real stupid! You got, like, a lot going on up here. I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down there, friend. Please do not kill Kicks in one hit. Please do not kill Kicks in one hit. Thank you. Fuck. Son of a bitch. That could've gone better. Stop wing attacking everything. Use a different move. You think you can just quick attack and wing attack your way to through all your problems? Well, you can't. Hig is too much of a rat for you to handle. Take him out! Oh, no! Apparently me saying quick attack was right. Oh. This Pidgeot is very mad at me insulting him right to his face. I just want to fucking train up kicks, you stupid birds. This is not what I asked for. Please stop being alive. Throttle, you. Why would you use quick attack? You're already faster than me. I just wanted to rub it in my, in my face that he's faster than me. Yeah, he got the last laugh for sure. And there's another bird! Who wants to guess? It's another flying type, so I can't even earthquake this man. Yay! And then he uses Nightshade. Ugh. Please poison. Please poison. Fuck. Yeah. Just send him balls. Don't even bother. And he's pursuit kill. Are you fucking kidding me right now? You used the nightshade. You knew that would have killed. Why would you use pursuit? I could have just rested. You stupid sack of shit. Mm. Is this really necessary? Do you have to put up this much of a struggle for not even the gym leader? You're a mook trainer! What is up with Pokemon and trying to kick me in the teeth? Just surf him to death. I don't even care anymore. Just get him out of my face. Thank you. Kablam! It's really annoying, this song. We need to change it. I was actually gonna say, oh man, I, I wish I was listening to this. Oh, that's right, I can change it. And we're gonna change it. I don't, I'm not a fan of that one. Of course, that's the red, blue, yellow one. Uh, let's go diamond, pearl, platinum. That sounds fun. Same with you. Why not? And put that. To, you have like four. I like the I like the diamond, pearl, platinum one the best personally. I feel it. I feel that one right in my soul, so we're gonna go with it. Well, Birdie Boy was a bad idea. I wish the music played during this section, because now with Fastener's Joy, you don't hear anything of that song, so... That could've gone better. Uh, where shall we venture off to this time? Let's go to Kanto. Let's see. Let's find what we can find here. Let's go to that. Can we go down there? Yeah, we can. Let's go to New Cinnabar. I've already been to New Cinnabar. It sucks. This is a terrible adventure. I don't want to be here. I want to go somewhere new. Where's somewhere new? Lavender Town, of course. The standard spook land. We haven't even been here yet. Oh, shit. Better watch out. You don't accidentally be a dip and kill yourself. 
Great Tower is nice, but there's a debate on the morality of it. Are we talking, we didn't ever talk about morality in this standard creepypasta basic bitch, <laughs> like beginner's guide? No, that's very immoral. This whole place. We have to change the music too. Nice touch. And so is this? Yeah, yeah, they were. They replaced the like, the like grave site with a radio tower. Oh, that's not okay. <laughs> oh yeah, morality. Any good radio shows? Maybe I should go visit again. <laughs> this is the worst town now. And they move the like corpses somewhere else. Some nonsense. Fishing spot. Okay, don't tell me what to do with my life. Okay, this is a bad idea. I don't want to be here. I'm done. Okay, you know maybe not. Uh. Well, I guess I am heading through, never mind. I want to fight some trainers, man. Like that? Cool. And there's a trainer. So let's hope Kix can actually get some, like, proper XP for once in his life. Please be Magikarp. Please be the Magikarp guy. This is the Magikarp guy, but he's leveled up too much. Oh, that's not great. That could be better. Uh, at least this is a grass type? That's the best I can say for this swapping decision. Oh, and you're doing the dragon reach. Well, that's annoying. Luckily, you're flying type, so maybe this should work. It did! Cool. Oh, that's value. Don't bite me. Well, now, <laughs> maybe stick to your day job of Dragon Rage there, Vigarados. Don't, don't think for a second that was worth it. <laughs> Alright. Time to send back in kicks! Once he gets to level 20, we'll be so much better off, because that way he'll be his Hitmonlee or Chan form. And at that point, we'll be golden. At that point, then I can pretty much actually start just leveling him up on his own, because he's okay right now, but not only for the fact that, well, he'll be a level 20, he'll be an evolved Pokemon, so he's just gonna naturally hit a lot harder, you know? Oh! Oh, no. OBS, are you okay? Are you okay, OBS? No, please don't crash. Don't be the crash episode. I don't need another one of these. Well... I'm watching you, OBS. Don't think for a second I'm not. I see you. I'm watching you, you son of a bitch. Don't you thrash me. Bat. Fuck you. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Ooh, a quillfish. That's a pretty alright Pokemon. Let's hope Kix can live a Quillfish. Much less scary than a Gyarados, but I think a higher level? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's not great. Yeah. Yeah, that's not great. How fucking course it grits. Uh, uh, Alright. Please don't have something stupid like the Barbie skin or Poison Barb or Barbie Boy. Or Barbies. I don't want any of that. Smack them all out of here. I'm done with this Quillfish. Just continue to, like, continue to exist. <gasps> you son of I forgot Quillfish are like this. I regret my decision to keep you alive for as long as I did. Kix does not deserve this man. No one deserves this man. Can I just throw this XP in the trash? I want to bes besmirch his name as much as I possibly can. I'll, I'll take the XP hit. I don't want- I want him to know I'm so disgusted by him, beating him wasn't even worth it. He disgusts me. I'm definitely that kind of guy and I wish I had a cool fish to minimize right about now. Oh, you can say- you can take that right to the bank. That's a fact. You bet your ass I'd be a, like- Double team minimized spammer if I had one. That's why I've been abusing status conditions as much as I possibly can. 
All right, Hag, you're done. Get out of here. Stupid radio distracted me. There's uh, Jack and shit playing right now. You full of shit! Wait, I can't fly with him. There we go. Where do we want to go? Oh, this is Pallet Town. Huh. Well, all these cities suck. Uh, let's go to Vermilion. What's here? I don't know. Who knows what's at Vermilion City? I don't know. I haven't played Gen 1. Also, I didn't play enough of Gen 2 in Kanto to know Gen 1 too, though. Hello. Goodbye. Give me something to kill. How may I leave? Where is murder? Is it this way? Yes, maybe. I don't know. Is there death this way? Are you... Are you a trainer? I'm the Vermilion Point SS Ticket Salesman. Would you like to buy an SS Ticket? That will cost $10,000. Uh, no! Please come back when you have the money. Hello, friends! Fight me! That ship will sail on Wednesdays. Okay, I'll fuck you too then. Where am I? Am I like... Am I at that truck place? Is that where this is? Is that this place? Where am I going? I'm going on an adventure right now. Oh, it is the truck place! Hey! It's a truck! I wonder what it's doing here. Guess we'll never find out. Bye, truck! If I had to say off the top of my head, it's probably... I know that's new. That's pretty fucking obvious. But, like, if you didn't know that already, that was the way back in the Gen 1 days. That was the standard, like, theory. Is it's under the fucking truck. That's where it is. And the one that I always heard... This is, I, this, this is before my time, and I still heard this shit. You cut the tires of the truck, and you use strength to push it. Or some shit of some, like, combination. Use HMs, maybe you gotta catch some Pokemon. I always remember it being either cut or strength. Or some combination of the two. That was always the one for me. At least that's what I heard. Of course, I wasn't a dip and also <laughs> didn't have this game, so whatever. Hello, new gym. Please fight me. I need to train. I don't... Oh, you're grass. Okay. I honestly have no idea how I'd get Mew in this game, but you know what? I'm not gonna fiddle with it too much, because I don't want to have to miss out on a sick ass Mew. Did I heal? That I did! <sighs> goody goody. Hi, Victory Bell. How are you doing, lady? Do you like ancient power? I bet you do. I got your number. Come to me. I'll give you what you want. Death. Oh. Classy. I am a classy broad. Only the best of the best. Oh shit, I were yeah, yawning too hard. Man, I wish I had something to drink right about now. My throat's fucking killing me already. Time for you to say it's gonna be another hour long stream. There's a very good reason for that. It's because, honestly, it's something I learned back in my Persona 1 days. That is still my worst playthrough I've ever done, and there's a very good reason for that. I kept sticking myself to that two hour long timeline. When I start getting burned out of a game, or in this case, I'm kind of, my throat hurts and I don't want to keep going, but when I start getting burned down on a game, just take the hit and make it a one-hour stream. I know that disappoints people, but let me tell you right now. If my Persona 1 stream is to say anything, it gets worse if I keep pushing myself. I quit that game. I beat the game, but all the bonus videos and the second playthrough I was doing? Nah. I flaked right at the final boss the second time. I'm gonna get bored and my commentary is gonna plummet in quality. I mean, right now, it's not even... It's okay. I'm at least finding stuff to talk about. I'm at least keeping some amounts of, like, general finesse going to the whole thing. That's the whole quality of it. You gotta figure out how to keep talking about new things and running your mouth. And normally, this is pretty hard for me, but today's been pretty good about that. But I'm gonna tell you right now, if I keep this going, I'm gonna run out and it'll be just like, okay, it's Wild Blooms. 
And that's gonna be fun for no one. Except for the people who like to watch me suffer, which is, I would assume, most of my audience, but... Uh, no. I do not want... There's a difference between suffering through, like, the game being a cheesy or having a hard time. That's fine. I, even I enjoy that. But there's a different kind of suffering to when it's just boredom and exhaustion. That stops being entertaining and just be like, oh, come the fuck on, you know? It's like, come on, man, get it together. Get your shit together. I, I can't do it. It's not possible. I can't do it. Kick this vile plume's ass, Hig. Why are you struggling? Hello, Dad. Hey, Dad. Oh, that's not nice. That's even less nice. Man, of all the attacks in Pokemon... I, I know I mentioned this a little bit ago, but... Not this specific thing, now that I think about it. Return is one of those moves I have no idea what it's supposed to be. And I've said that before, but... Return is one of the most confusing moves to me. Because, or at least the most move, it's like, oh yeah, like, Ice Fang or something, or some sort of, like, Flamethrower. You can kinda, you can kinda pick up at least the general gist of what they're going for. Even weird stuff like Arceus's, um, Judgment. At least the animation kinda says there's a big, big old energy ball that just ruptures inside of the dude. You kinda know what that is. You can, at least, if not understanding the, like, the... Mechanic spine. You can understand that. That looks like it could probably be an attack, but with re with uh, return, it's just uh, I got him. Maybe that's what's going on. It's the power of friendship. That's why it's one of the strongest normal type moves. Cause we all know how these kid friendly and Persona games go. It's all about the power of friendship. What's your story, Lady Tanya? Egg Egg Utor? Look at that. Look at that strutting stew over there. Look at him coming. He's coming get And he's coming for that booty. Yours in particular. He's taking it from you. There will be no escape. See, confusion. You're probably getting confused upon hearing that. That's the key plan. And once you're confused, it's already too late. It's game over for you. Run and hide. Weevil, are you okay? Weevil did- Are you okay? It's a- <laughs> You didn't finish that sentence. There you go. And that is- That is not where I thought that sentence was going. Oh! I mean, you're not wrong, but- Morally, you might be a little bit wrong. I mean, who am I to argue with efficiency? But I'm just saying, you know, some people, not saying it's me, not saying it's me, may have some problems. Just a forewarning, you may want to, like, hold back on putting that out for the entirety of the internet. You may ostracize yourself, saying, hey, I stick people to generators. We're having a fun time right now. Slowly, we come in here, we slap a random small child. No, you're sick in the head. That's why you're ill sick. That's what's going up on up. Yes, I know how to talk. Uh. Hello, lady. Skip, skip who? I start yawning when I get thirsty. Once I start getting into these streams, I just, oh, I get so yawny. Like, oh boy, I do not know why. Maybe it's the heat, maybe it's that, like, beaming light into my face. Maybe it's the fact that I got nothing to drink, or maybe it's the fact that I'm tired. I'm not tired, which is weird. I mean, 
Maybe a little bit, but it's getting closer to the end of my day, so that's why. I mean, I go to bed, assuming I do the full two hours, I end at six. I usually go to bed about seven or eight, so yeah, that is around near the end of my day, so, you know. Gotta get that full five hours. Five out, eight hours of sleep. I wake up at 5 a.m. every day, and it's, it's a lot easier to do that if you go to bed at a reasonable time. Like, hey, do you ever want to be, I want to wake up early, gotta get ready for school, gotta get ready for work, but I, I'm just gotta sleep in, gotta get those like 10 hours of sleep, because I'm i one of those kind of people. We gotta go to bed early, that's just how it is. A lot of people are like, dude, what the fuck are you going to bed for? It's like 6.30. I'm like, dude, I am exhausted. I want to go to bed. Because I'm the kind of dude who's like, hey, man, I would like some, like, not 8, 9, maybe 10 if I'm feeling extra tired that day. Hours of sleep. You gotta make sacrifice or something like that to maintain a job, sleep schedule, some general entertainment on your own, and in my case, a stream schedule. So that's... That's a lot of things to be balancing. I sacrifice a little bit of my free time for not only streams in this case, but more sleep. Because I'm not an absolute zombie later in life. It's as simple as that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? It's good to get sleep. Get, you gotta just go to, go to bed, kiddos. It's too late for you to be up. What time is it for you? Most people, it's around 7. Most people are on the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast. I'm typically about 3 hours behind everyone, so me going to bed at 7 is like 10 for some people. I used to have that problem. Like, I have to... I still have minor insomnia, but it's really just boils down to are you actually, like, trying to go to bed, or are you the kind of dude who sits around, like... Oh man, I'm in front of my computer and I'm not tired, so I'm not going to bed kind of tired. Or are you the kind of person who, you lay in bed for four hours, kind of? Because there's three different kinds of insomnia. There's the, I'm not feeling tired, so I'm not going to bed. That's generally caused by, I'm sitting in front of a computer, just, just getting just right up in there. So you get that, like, burn in your eyes, makes you not tired. And there's the kind of dudes who are like, oh man, I'm tired, I'm going to go to bed. And then they look at their phone, or listen to music, or whatever it is they're going to do. Whatever it is they could be doing, and it keeps them up, and it causes their brain to say, Hey, I'm awake. Typically, it's like phone, maybe, I don't know, DS or something, Switch. That kind of garbage. Uh, that one is the kind that I used to have. And then there's the actual, like, legitimate medical kind, which is, Hey, I physically am incapable of falling asleep at certain hours of time, and I feel like death every day. Oh, I can't fix that. But here's a pro tip. The best way to fall asleep, if you have one of those first two kinds, even if you have the third kind, it really does help. Turn off your electronics an hour early, and that's always like the, oh, shit, no, that's usually also for me. I usually don't follow that rule. Um, turn off your electronics a little bit earlier. It makes life a lot easier if you try to physically exhaust yourself a little bit earlier. Yeah. No, I feel you, Weevil. And then the kind that always helped me is I was the kind of dude who was like, oh man. I hated how even when I try to go to bed, because I was the kind of dude who would like play games or look at his phone or whatever. And it was like, this is fucking garbage. It's because your brain a lot of the time will start associating your bed with things other than sleep. Which is why it's so easy for a lot of people to fall asleep on a couch. Maybe like a school desk or something. Because they start associating those, your brain like ties those areas to being tired so therefore sleep. But you do other things while you're <clears throat> lying in bed. It as your brain wire that nonsense to not going to bed. So what I had to do for me is I had to fully dedicate myself to, all right, the first two or three nights are going to be hell on earth. And they were. But I had to just slap my face onto that bed and don't do anything other than just crying to go to bed. I had to take medicine for it for me, yeah, but... That, that helped a lot for the first couple nights, because a lot of the time it was like, oh man, I'm I'm not falling asleep. Time to grab some electronics till I feel tired. Don't do that. Don't do it. Just commit to it. I know there's a lot of people who do have the legitimate insomnia, and that's doubt. There, there's other ways of helping for stuff like that, but for them normal people. Because insomnia is starting to become like a minor epidemic 
a lot of people have at least minor insomnia nowadays, just because of the mass influction of electronics and the, all these screens we have blaring into our brains. Because that, like, LED light source, especially if it's nighttime and you have lots of contrast, that kicks your brain into overdrive, releasing all the I'm not tired, stay awake, feel goo in your brain. So, it causes a lot of problems. For actual insomnia, I have no idea other than talk to your doctor, take some medicine, and do everything in your possible power to make your brain try to go to hiccup. Bed. I feel another hiccup coming. <sighs> there we go. Ah, oh, that's so much better. Here's another, like, random health tip. If you want to get rid of hiccups, it always varies from person to person. A lot of people say, hey, drink a glass of water, do whatever you can. Really, at the end of the day, you gotta stop breathing. You just gotta, like, take the biggest deep of breath you can and hold it. And I mean, hold it for as long as you can. If you did it right, it should shut off your hiccups. Sometimes it's different for some people, but that's about it. Yeah, I know, Evil. It, it, it was bad for me, too, back around, around middle and high school. But halfway through high school... Same with getting up at 5 a.m. I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna fix myself, and I just did it. I just quit and just started going to bed at a reasonable time. I just fixed myself right there on the spot. That was a willpower thing. Like, when I was waiting for the bus one morning, and because I used my phone to, uh, it's my alarm. I was just like, you know what? I'm tired of being tired. So I just got on my phone, set an alarm for 5 a.m., and I haven't turned it off since. I fixed myself right fast. I forced myself to do it. Waking up at 5 a.m. was felt like death the first two days. Oh, it's terrible. If you want to make yourself a sleep schedule to get to bed early, you can't even have cheat days. You gotta commit to it. You can have cheat days once you get properly into the flow, but especially if you get like lazy and flake on, like, oh, okay, it's just one day, you know. Uh, for the first, like, month, you can't have flake days for these kind of things. You gotta commit to it so your brain's like, okay, I'm set on this schedule. To the point where nowadays, I will wake up without even my alarm at 5 a.m. I'm just, that's hardwired right on in there. Here's your life tip for the day. Uh, sleep is very important, but you gotta actually commit. It's like, it's weird to talk about commitment like that when I say I'm the fat man, but honestly... I don't care too much. That's not something I'm the most concerned about. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to be fit, but at the same time, I enjoy eating. And, you know, that's all right. It depends from person to person. As long as you know that you could easily fix a problem, and you know that you're really not fucking healthy, if you're genuinely fine with it, I mean, hey, you know, live your life. I'm not going to tell anyone to do anything they don't have to, but... Knowing that what they're doing is bad and they can fix it and then choosing not to do it is a conscious effort that you have to actually make that decision. A lot of people don't like to make that decision and it just tears them up inside. They start feeling guilty like, oh man, I feel so self-conscious. For me, I'm okay with being a little bit hefty. You know what? I know I could do some work and I do actually do a little bit here and there. But, same with the sleep thing. Sometimes you just... You just gotta sit down and say, what do I want to do with my life, you know? Health-wise. Brush your teeth, you know. Get eight hours, eight, eight, nine hours of sleep. Make sure you're physically fit. All that good stuff. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta sit down and think about those kind of things. Here's your life lessons tip from the good old Jason today. Don't know why this is where this stream decided to go, but you know what? It's good to dispout information. I'm only 21. Then again, I had a lot of thinking to do back to high school. I, I fucking hated high school. I had a lot of personal building rather than general education building. Oh. Me hating high school is definitely a story for another day, though. That's an involved one. Oh, boy. Here's another life tip for you. Some people just don't... Do not fucking gel with high school. I fucking hated it. I got F's in every single one of my class, and I didn't give a shit. 
then I left high school. I ditched that shit, took a secondary education, and I still have my fucking diploma. There's the, like, goddamn, like, shotgun wedding version of that backstory. There are other options. You don't even need to have a high school diploma for a lot of things. If you want to be someone who just wants to get work done, or if you're someone who likes working hard, like, I'm talking, like, real physically intensive work, you can get a job. You can easily get a job, as long as you're a dude at the spot, like, it's, some of it's gonna be back-breaking work, but if you want to work for something like that, like, you're a dude who's totally fine with it, girl too, it doesn't matter, you totally can. It's gonna be a bit harder, go oh, definitely, but if you want some back-breaking work, like construction, anything of the sort, digging ditches, you definitely can. Of course, that's not for everyone, and it's definitely not for me, but yeah. And I feel you, Weevil. That's never been, uh, my personal kind of... Honestly, I just had, like, I had the self-inflicted kind of insomnia, so I feel you. Can my condolences go out? So, we have four, what, about 14 minutes left. Alright, let's... How do we want to end this off? Let's see if Kix is still doing fine. He's doing okay. He has higher attack for now. We need to baby that still. Let's go fight some random mooks out in the street. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I kind of, I kind of got fully immersed in what I was doing, and the entire game was just in the background, which is usually how I like playing games. To be fair, that's usually what I'm doing. I'll, I'll watch a video. I'll throw something on. I'll be listening to music while playing a game. That's where I always excel for these kind of games. That's why I like RPGs. I can just brains off and I can coast. I can feel like fly along right away with the wind. Can I, can I actually find, like, a proper route to murder some rando trainers, please? Okay, fine, we'll fly somewhere. Like, for me, um, on the topic of physical abnormalities, like, I've already, I think I've mentioned once or twice, but my whole shtick is I have scoliosis. It's the minor kind, but it's the kind you get growing up. It's like the naturally formed kind. Like, my spine just grew in the wrong direction and just said, fuck it, I'm sticking like this now. That kind you can't really fix. So I always had a lot harder time doing physical activities in any regard. I can, but things like, uh, some jobs become infinitely harder. Like, standing is easy, but walking and any kind of bending is excruciating. It's why I have to really uh, choose what kind of job. And I can't even work desk jobs, because to fix my back, it's why I'm always reclining all the time. For me, I have to recline really far back to where it's, like, hard to do traditional work. And it's why you randomly see me shifting in my chair so often. It's to min-max the time of, am I fixing my back, or am I actually sitting up and being able to play the game more off, like, optimally? Sometimes you have hurdles in life like that, and you got to be able to be able... You gotta find a way that works for you while still being able to make that paycheck. That's actually why I'm doing this whole streaming thing. That's been my personal goal. I've always wanted to be an entertainer. So, knowing that I couldn't do it in traditional ways, like... Uh, even if I wanted to... Like, I'm, not, I'm also not very social, so that kind of brought some of those out of there, but a lot of, like, filler jobs, what's called survival jobs, I can't do. It'd be like working at McDonald's, Work in, like, a restaurant, maybe, like, a drive through gas station. Those are survival jobs. Not something you typically go out and say, Hey, I'd like to do this for the rest of my life, but it's to get a paycheck, it's to make a living. I can't do a lot of those jobs, which is my problem. So I am having some familial support on my end, but that's why I'm doing this whole streaming thing. Hoping this works out to make my time a little bit easier, but hey. Everyone's always got a story, you know, even if it's not, like, a medical disability. Everyone's got something going on. There's always a life out there. Oh, yeah, he's fine on XP. All right. Yeah. I'm trying to... Th oh, so I thought I had another point to bring up, but I've forgotten. I guess it's just never assume what's going on with someone, because something like me, you would never have known. If you've seen me out and about, I never let anyone know that I have scoliosis. It's not something that I let affect me too often. I'm not the kind of person who has, like, a jagged hunchback, but... You'd see me sitting down most of the time, and it's why I don't travel too often. I barely leave the house. 
both that part of that is uh, nurture, but part of that is this is the kind of lifestyle I've enjoyed living, so it's a lot better for me, but, you know. Oh, and don't even think for a second that's why I'm fat. If I wanted to work out, I'd go out there and get it done. I'd find a way to do it. In fact, I had a weight class in um, high school. And because I went through physical therapy to strengthen my back, I actually, one of the funniest things I ever had happen was one of the weight section was one of those things where you're sitting, like, back to a thing and you gotta, like, bend your back and, like, it's the back weight training exercise to see how much weight you can have from just your back. I could go up to the max fucking setting. So my back isn't weak, it's my spine that's weak. And I was just like, damn. Alright. Bet your ass I couldn't do much else other than that, but that was mainly because I went through physical therapy and my back's full as fuck. But it still hurts like a son of a bitch sometimes. But it's important to, if you have a disability like that, to don't let it consume you. Don't let it be your whole identity. It's alright for you to base a life around it so you can manage. But never try to just coast off it. It's why I never bring up my disability a whole lot on stream. It's the main reason I bring it up now is it's to continue with the whole topic, but... I've never been one who likes, uh, prying on people's pity and all that nonsense. I've never been like being given things of that sort, you know? It's never been my style. And I'd say, hey, don't try to pray, prey on people's sympathy and pity just to try to make it a little bit easier on your life. You probably deserve it more than most people, but at the same time, like I said, everyone's got a story. So... Just gotta find something you can do. Everyone's got something out there for them. I don't remember the exact term for it, but there was a Japanese word for it. It was like that state of perfection when it comes to a job. Because a job has four cat. Let's see if I can remember this. A job has four categories, and even if you hit all three, you're still missing something important. Is you're good at it. It makes you money. Uh, it's impactful to society. And what was the last one? You're good at it. It's important. So, okay, you're good at it. It makes you money. Ah, oh, shit. Good at it. Makes you money. Impactful to society. And there was a fourth one. I guess knowledge, I think what it was. That's, it, that's something similar to know what you're doing, you know? Like being... I guess, I guess knowing what you're doing and being good at it. Because if even one of them is missing, like if you have the other four but you don't know what you're doing, you have this constant sense of, I could be replaced any day. I have no idea. Someone could show up and know exactly what they're doing, my job's out the window. That's that kind of reassurance. If you, if it doesn't make you money, you're good at it, you're passionate about it, you're good at your doing it, it's even good for society, but it's not going to pay the bills. It's just not going to get you where you want. It's not useful for, to society, so that's something you're good at, you're knowledgeable about, and it makes money, but it's effectively a useless job. It doesn't do anything. And you get, some people will get the sense of, what am I doing with my life? I love what I'm doing, but what I'm doing is effectively useless. It would be, I'd imagine that could also be seen with someone who's like an entertainer. That's not like, determinably useful, but I guess it would also be something more minor at the same time. And then the last one is, you're not good at it. Meaning, it makes you money, you know what you're doing, and it's useful to society. You're just not good at your job. That just, that's the most standard one, I feel. I also don't even know if that knowledge one is, uh, the fourth one, but it's something along that line, so. You gotta find that perfection, you know? Even if it's a job you're not, like... You don't even enjoy it. I think it's you enjoy it. That's what it was. You enjoy the job. That Okay, so the fourth one is you enjoy the job. Uh-huh, there it is. And that one, if you're lacking, is you're good at it. It's productive to society and it pays your bills. But you hate it. You hate your job. That'll crush a person under stress. Like, I have to keep doing it. I'm good at it. I know what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm good at it. It pays the bills. And it's like, like being a construction worker. And that's useful to society. But I hate it. That's the most common one for people. You gotta find that flow. 
I don't remember the word for it. I just honestly thought that was a neat trivia thing. I didn't have anywhere to go with that. I just thought that was neat. Those are the four building blocks to a good- a career. Not a job. A job is what you show up to on the 9 to 5 and just like, Alright, I have a job. That's a chore. A career is something you're impassioned about. S smarter people than me have as commonly said, Find a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. I love streaming. I enjoy it. I say I'm pretty good at it. And it's somehow it's somewhat useful to society as long as someone's enjoying it. This is giving someone entertainment. I'd say that's useful to society. It doesn't pay the bills. Which is where my This is where the fault of this job is for me right now. This does not pay the bills. I gotta work something else. This isn't gonna cut it. It's that, but like, not paying the bills is also, like, the most important one, I feel. That's the one you gotta have. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good guideline to look, to know what you're looking for in a job. You like it, you're good at it, you're good at it slash you know what you're doing. Uh, it's helpful to society and it pays the bills. That's the most important stuff. Yeah, providing culture is useful to society. For me, my enter my drive in life has always been to entertain someone. If one dude, you right now, Weevil, are showing up and are engaged, or at least in some capacity enjoying my content, it's fine. Job's working fine for me. But a lot of people don't have that kind of outlook. A lot of people are just like, I mean, yeah, I get it. I have the one viewer, but it's just like, I could be doing more. Some people have that kind of thing. Like, some people just don't mesh well with being an entertainer. Some people like a quantifiable thing they can be proud of. Some people want to be a builder. Some people want to be the masons of the world. Some people want to be the business owners where they have a company. Like, I'm, I'm providing a product. That's technically what an entertainer is, but some people just don't, just don't got that mindset. So, like I said, everyone's a different person. They always got their own job. An ideal job, I should say. Yeah. This was uh, 30 minutes of life advice from Jason. I'm 21. How did I get this? Where did I get all this? Is this even good advice? I don't know. A lot of it I don't know too much about because I'm still relatively young, but at the same time, a lot of that good advice I got from other people. That's just the whole nature of it. It's not mine. Almost none of this is stuff that any of this is that I've learned myself. I've been given this information, and I'm just dispouting it to everyone else. Good information's good information, no matter the source. I'm effectively just a faucet at this point. I'm not the one who made the water. I'm not the one who brought the water. Okay, I, I guess that's what a faucet does. You know what I mean. I'm not the one who made the water. I'm not the one who provided the water. But I'm giving the water. I guess it'd be a good water being information that I've heard. It's more advice than anything. Like, if I could say one thing that's the most important thing I've learned thus far, find a job you like. It's as simple as that. It could be the most basic thing, as long as it pays the bills. Find a survival job you can tolerate, at the very least. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find something you can do to pay the bills until whatever your career is can really, like, come off the ground. Like, people who are artists, other entertainers, and really benign jobs like that definitely have a really hard time getting, like, in there. Specifically what I'm doing, that too. It's like, whoa, trying to get this to pay the bills? Like an actor, that kind of thing. How many actors do you know? Like, there are famous actors. They make a lot of money. All the really small scale, the B actors. Hundreds of them. Thousands of them. And the mainstream knows about 20, 30 plus, maybe? Depending on where you are? That's a damn hard industry to get into. And I mean, get into. Not make me ends meet. Not live paycheck to paycheck. And even then, actors typically go months without getting a job. It's a hard knock life out there. Some people are truly impassioned, and they just stick to it, but, hey, you know. I guess that's the final nugget of information I'm going to dispouse, which, it's something I have had to grapple with for a long time with what I'm doing. 
sometimes your dream may just not come true. It's as simple as that. And it's not that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because sometimes what you want is not necessarily what you thought. Your happy ending at the end of the rainbow is not always necessarily what you started with. Sometimes it's what you end up with, and then you look back on in life, and you're just like, Damn! When did this happen? This was never my game plan. That's how you know you've done it. Because someone wants to be an actor. Maybe they could be someone who teaches someone else how to act. And that can, like, branch off into other things. They can find another career choice very similar, because the acting may be very hard, maybe some other form of entertainment. Musicians are everywhere, especially now in the information age of YouTube. Make good music, people will flock. <laughs> yeah, I'm like you, Weevil. I am terrible with names. Oh. Actors I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, fucking Benedict Cumberbatch. Beneficial Cucumber, of course, he's number one. Um... That's not an actor. That's not an actor. Yes! I'm not good with names, that's a me thing. <laughs> uh, alright, whatever. Once we're done with this fight, we'll have our boy evolve, and then... I think that'll be it for today. My throat is raw as a motherfucker right now. We don't have any water bottles. We're out of soda, and we don't have any more orange juice. A.K.A. I hate tap water. It's garbage. Specifically where I live, it tastes very metallic. We even have... We even have a filter. That shit tastes like lead. It's garbage. And so I'm just gonna take the hit of making this a half stream, just cause I'd uh I'd rather drink bleach, than tap water. <laughs> hey, I wish our tap water was better. That's why people always like t tap water. It depends where you come from. Sometimes bigger cities, the people with a bad water infrastructure, will taste bad. Or it's where I come from, tastes bad. People like out there. Oh, he became a lonely. Yes, I am. Uh, me buying those four proteins, worth. But yeah, it depends where you live. If you live in a small town or somewhere up in the mountains where you can get fresh water, then it's a lot better. It's why I pay for bottled water. You pay for the convenience, you know. A lot of people are just like, "What are you doing, paying for bottled water?" Sometimes I'd like to not die whenever I try to drink water. I mean, I don't ask. I don't buy a whole lot of things. Am I allowed to- am I not allowed to pay for the convenience for that which I enjoy? It's the same thing as buying soda. That doesn't provide shit to you. I buy soda too, but I buy water bottles and that shit lasts me like... Depends on how aggressively I go through them. That can last one week to two months. One week is when it gets bad. That's usually around summer. and That's usually when I stop buying soda. But... I mean, if that's all you're drinking, I mean, if you're really low on money, then it causes some problems, but, you know. I mean, hey, you gotta splurge. You gotta live like a princess, you know? Make every day special. There's, your, there's another nugget of information. I couldn't go into detail on that. Make every day special. Make one day of the week the day you go out to get food if you really like going out. I don't mean fast food. I mean, go to a sit-down restaurant. Treat yourself. One day a week. Make yourself the important one at the end of the day. That's what I do with water. Damn it, if I'm not allowed to have things that I like. Hello, Hitmonlee! Wow. Alright. I'm surprised this episode even went anywhere. I kind of came into saying it's going to take fucking forever. Kick's already leveled up. We got at least a level bout on everyone else. Alright. And we dispoused a lot of random life information that I've picked up over my many years. So... I think that is where we're going to call it for today. So, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And you know what? Let's follow that up with I hope I have a good rest of your week. Let's say month. Rest of your life. Have a good one. Anyway, and with that being said, peace.